Yo, 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 how's it going, guys? It's Richie Unicorn Call here, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. We are back with some new news, so yeah, without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And today, we actually have some really big, I mean, this is pretty interesting news. I don't think I've ever heard of this before, but apparently Wizard 101 Europe servers are having a little bit of a internal service update, which is pretty interesting. Now, I'll read the full thing right here. It says, Wizards, we would like to inform you today that on the 7th, or the 7th month of 17th, and 2024, we will be moving the data slash game and the web storage location of all players on the EU version of the game. So the data that was previously hosted on a server in the EU will be moving to a server hosted in the U.S. Very interesting. You will not notice any differences to your gameplay since that this is purely a, ba a back-end change and not a change of the public-facing gameplay servers. Game progress and all other things you have achieved in the game will stay the same. You will still be on the localized version of the game that you know and love, and you'll also still just be playing with other players in the same language server as you. We are we care about your data and want to ensure you that your personal information will be kept safe throughout this migration. Now to learn more, please see our privacy policy, the King's Isle team. So yeah, there you go. Um pretty interesting news. I mean pretty much a, I would have to say a bombshell, right? I don't really know how Wizard 101 Europe players are going to feel about that. I would imagine that it would probably be I guess mixed results, um, especially concerning ping. I know that was one like comment I saw concerning about ping and like I guess NAT type and I guess like you know how well are the servers going to be on the U.S. side of things. But you know, hopefully everything does you know stay however it is. And it also is nice to see that Ki is really taking this you know whole Wizard One One Europe thing. Uh, seriously, especially concerning the updates. I mean, if you haven't heard, recently Wizard 101 Europe actually just got Novus, which originally came out in 2022. So it looks like they are progressing with the updates quite rapidly, and hopefully they keep that same pace going um, in the future. Because now they need Wallaroo, and now they need, you know, the Azteca Raid, and all that other fun fun stuff especially the nightmare dungeon good luck with the nightmare dungeon that was a whole a whole process but yeah hopefully everything does go well and hopefully this uh migration process goes smoothly for everybody involved so yeah now to the next news which is ravenwood academy this is the wizard 101 story game we talked about this it's a single player game if you want you can wish list it on steam right now and check it out and yeah, until then, check it out. <laughs> Over here, we got the 2024 Pride Collection for the KI Store. Remember that this is a limited time type of merchandise, and that most of the proceeds will be donated to Outright International. So, again, make sure to check all of that out. We also got the Rainbow Plushie as well. Little pig, I love, I love this plushie. It's so cute. And we also got the Pride Pins Pack as well. And, again, proceeds will go to Outright International. And remember, you can also get that that rainbow roll amount and then the um, piggle pet bundle which we talked about in that one blog which also can go to charity as well so tons of charities make sure to check it out and then over here a little reminder that wasn't one of the one is on Chromebook we talked about this I mean that's also another big bombshell news for a lot of people especially people on Chromebook um, definitely have fun with it don't play it at school though make sure you guys are studying do not play was a one one at school but do play it on the side, though. <laughs> do play it on the side. Um, up next, we have the Floating Lands Resort Bundle, which, again, we talked about this previously. It is a shared bundle between Bio 101 and Wizard 101. It's available for 39 bucks, And, like I said, it's available on GameStop. So, again, have fun. The Moon Hunt begins now through June 10th. Um, basically, it started previously, but... We're just now giving you the news about it now, but it's going to be available all the way through June 10th. This is the uh, PvP one, so 
yeah, everybody have fun out there and enjoy. Good luck. Over here, we got the Rate My Stitch event, which is available, again, through June 10th. This is where you can get those stitch tokens, and you can also have the chance of making some cool outfits. So make sure to check all of that out. And then over here, and this is another big bombshell out of nowhere, because this just... This was unexpected, at least to me, this was unexpected, but double pet XP, again, which is really not expected, but, well, unexpected, because, you know, we get double pet XP spammed a lot, but check this out, guys, it's gonna be available for the entire month of June, that is right, double pet XP is all, it's set for the 30th, that is a very long time for double pet XP, at this point, you might as well just make it permanent, so... Um, yeah, if you needed to make any pets, make sure to level up your pets, and yeah, definitely good luck out there. Over here, we got the rainbow items that, um, are returning, or have returned in the crown shop. Remember, it's gonna last all the way through the 30th. You got the rainbow banners and some housing items, as well as the, uh, whatchamacallit, the teleporter effect, which, again, probably my favorite teleporter effect in the entire game. This is, like... Literally 10 out of 10. I highly recommend you check it out before it's gone. Make sure to check it. And then over here, we got the Unicorn Horde Pack Bundle, which is going to be available all the way through the 16th. You basically get 12 for the price of 10, so make sure to check it out. And then over here, the Chromatic Cat and the Prismatic Cat mounts have returned. And I know a lot of people really wanted these mounts to return. So again, make sure you check out the Crown Shop and take advantage of that and have fun with that. Over here, we got the Extra Credits Objective, which this time is very interesting, at least from my eyes view, because they actually say something pretty interesting over here. And it says that anyone is free to contribute to the objective. Which is pretty interesting, right? Back in February, I had left the extra credit program during the whole geographic, geometric table incident. And it's pretty interesting, though, how they're, you know, say, like, hey, you know, if you're still not in, you know, the extra credit program, you know, you can still participate. Which is definitely a cool thing, because now it pretty much opens the door for even more potential community members to participate, even if you're not even in the program. Now, a reminder that, of course, you need to be in the actual program to actually get the rewards, which, I'm not gonna lie, when back in my day, the rewards were kind of lackluster. I mean, well, yeah, but, um, you know, this is still pretty cool. I actually might participate and, you know, do this for one of the uh, days I don't really have content, because, you know, it's always really hard to find content in this game, and I don't feel like doing a walkthrough I don't feel like doing PvP. I don't feel like doing the, um, what was it? The Portal of Peril. I don't feel like doing the Nightmare Dungeon 54-7. I don't feel like doing raids or... I, I still like doing raids, but, like, I think my guild is kind of, like, tapped out right now. But, no, this is pretty cool. And the objective for, t um, this month, um, June 2024... It's pretty interesting. It says, live stream or record a video of you putting together a new stitch while explaining what stitching is all about in the game and why you choose the selected gear pieces. Literally, I will never enter battle without looking drippy. I Like, if I look like an absolute, like, I don't know, monstrosity, I will not go into battle. Like, I, I just, I will not go into battle. Like, I have to be drippy. Okay, like, I can't go into battle just looking like a hideous monster, right? I have to get drippy, right? Alternatively, if you wish to support Pride Month, you can create anything around that theme as well. But it should also include game references, cool mounts and pets you equip when celebrating the month, unique ways to celebrate with your fellow players, etc. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. So again, make sure to check that out in case you're bored and just want to do some content. There you go, and that pretty much wraps it up, ladies and gentlemen, for all the news. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful rest of the week. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go play more Baldur's Gate 3. I have been so addicted to that game nonstop. Like, literally, that is, like, my new obsession. I absolutely love that game. But until then, I will see you guys later. Make sure to check out the Crown Shop and all that stuff, and... Yeah, peace out.